Hi, how are you doing? We're in the next part now. Uh, please go gauge your bearings to figure out what's going on here. I was talking about how Christians um, that have got very prolific ministries on, on, on YouTube, I feel bad for them. I really do. Um, if they've monetized, you're safer off if you haven't monetized. Look at Joe Kirby, for instance. He has got like over a million subscribers and his channel is not monetized. If they bring Joe Kirby down, he would be hurt to lose all of those people, but he would not cease to be able to pay the bond of his house, his mortgage and what have you he's got other ways to independently earn a salary i believe he's a pastor as well that and he's earning a salary that way and there are probably other ways in which he's making money uh there's a book that he recently just wrote i think that's was another way that the guy can make money right to basically eat like the guys gotta eat you know what i mean they gotta feed their kids and like buy like presents for their wives on their birthdays like christians get to live um type of establishment thing so if there is all the censorship of never mind just christian channels on on youtube but just get out goodness gracious This fly is like TikTok. It thinks it's important in somebody's life when it's just a small little like freaking communist platform from a country that's trying to make everybody live surveilled by cameras and wheel it into their doors. But like really, the larger part of the world is not about that business. Anyway, um, uh, what is this? I was speaking about how Christians have got to, to, to try and find independent ways of maintaining an income that they can trust is not one day just going to be shut down because it just so happens to be earned on a platform that wants to control information and what is being shared out there. YouTube is arrogant. Like, Christians are currently immigrating out of YouTube and updating their websites. And people are following them there. I know of this girl, um, what's her name? As well, she's also a Christian YouTuber. She has got a Gab account where she uploads content that is uncensored. And she's also on Rumble. Uh, I don't think she has a website, but she has a backup plan somewhere where they're not censoring her. How can I forget her name? Ugh, like, I, oh goodness, I hate, I hate that I've forgotten her name because I'm literally erasing these people's names. So you might as well, so you might also perhaps potentially look for them too, because they're worthy of being followed anyway. Um, how could I forget her? D's Inspiration Station, thank you. D's Inspiration Station. D also has got backups okay but i also believe that d has like a regular nine to five as well that pays her, her bills but she is able to gain some kind of an additional income from these other backup platforms and her youtube channel is monetized but the day might come when d suddenly just gets like closed up her inspiration station will according to youtube not be so inspirational anymore and so they're going to close its doors like slam it we too and be like hi there buddy you were not speaking what we wanted you to speak it's a rough time. If the Lord has not raptured the church, my question is what then? The church needs to get out. And if the church is getting out of your environment, ha, the scriptures are being fulfilled. We are giving the gospel in one town and they're persecuting us so we will flee to the next. We are dusting our feet off. That environment that we are leaving behind is Sodom. Not Sodom, sorry, but it is Bethsaida and Chorazan. Woe to you on the day of judgment for in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and Sidon and Tyre that all the gospel was preached therein. Uh, they would have repented and yet here it is that you are being preached the gospel too and you are spitting on the toes of those who preach when they dust your feet off whoa like woe to you so what is the tantamount of a, a whole platform being judged i mean a platform can't go to the flames of hell it can't be thrown into the eternal lake of fire on the day of judgment its judgment is disappearance it is humiliation it is a mass exodus it is a sheer stock plunging it is loss of like consumer confidence it is the beginning of the end of an organization of a going concern. It is an arrogant company being brought to its knees. Touch not God's anointed. Do his prophets no harm. You must understand, YouTube, if at all you're listening, you are. Because why would you not, why would you shadow ban me if you're not listening to me? The end of your days is nigh. And it doesn't help that you're an American company. Because the United States in and of itself as a whole superpower is about to be humiliated. It is about to lose its life, its street cred, and its number one status on the earth. And given that it's eroding away, understand that innovators down here in these streets elsewhere in the world are going to find a way to keep on talking since you refuse to let them speak. Since you refuse to let them speak, those who lean on you, you know, guys, consumers are not um, 
what is this they they are not loyal thank you consumers are not loyal in in, in in an environment like social media the reason why youtube came up with shorts is because they were trying to compete with tiktok because they noticed that for the sake of long of short form content and these dopamine rich videos that are wreaking havoc in the attention span of people a whole bunch of randos were migrating over to tiktok because they just wanted five seconds and youtube just has these five hour things and we're not we're not cool with it so youtube innovated and came up with indeed a shorts like segment not only did they come up with shorts the shorts were initially not monetized and now they have started to monetize them because they seriously thoroughly are doing everything in their power to compete if not knock out of the market altogether tiktok so since consumers are not loyal and they kept on migrating over to tiktok and you notice that your uh viewer numbers were reducing because of what tiktok was doing and also facebook you know came up with these long form videos Fa facebook has always had videos but they were restricted in, in very many ways and the quality was very low uh but facebook has caught up and it is now the second most highly uh, uh visited website or platform on which to view videos Facebook, I was looking, watching, reading a poll or a statistical sort of kind of body of work the other day. And apparently TikTok uh, for, for short form and like aspect ratio that is like your cell phone content is number one in the world for, I guess, the right reasons that it ought be. But for anybody wanting information and actually watching videos and getting inspired and motivated, YouTube was number one and Facebook was number two. TikTok of which became the number three. That's why TikTok increased its video viewing length from one minute to 10 minutes they're unlikely going to go beyond that because by, by mere virtue of them being that kind of platform that is their competitive advantage being short type establishment thing but facebook caught up with youtube it, it not caught up but it, it grew with youtube and so therefore is saturating the market for people who watch videos online currently i am being more viewed on facebook than on youtube do you not think that a platform that is kinder to the freedom of expression of people is not going to overtake you when you keep on shadow banning people that have not had it coming so tiktok is basically about to go bye bye since it's the smallest one and only prides itself in short little videos that take away the attention span of people and youtube is thwarting reasonable people who speak lofty things that everybody wants to hear and platforms like facebook are not as abusive to consumers as youtube is you are gonna lose your clout is that basic insofar as you continue to abuse people in this way you are absolutely youtube are going to lose your clout and the day might even arrive when since people are migrating in their drones do you understand over to facebook facebook might even come up with a monetization like strategy to help people earn ad revenue in a similar model to youtube and that is going to blast a crater in the knee of youtube given that it is a lot more palatable it is a lot more the word that i should be using is not palatable but what is this kind it is a lot more accommodating of taboo conversations facebook is a lot more accommodating of people who speak taboo things than youtube even copyright strikes on facebook are not as bad as they are on youtube like your whole before you can even get brought down for a copyright strike on on facebook there is a lot more sort of kind of like you know helping you along to get that right on top of that when you start a page on youtube on Facebook, they don't dictate to you how many videos you can upload initially before they can check if you're, con you're cool. You can upload 30, 50 videos in one sitting and they're not going to give you grief as a first time opener of a Facebook page, whereas that's not the case with YouTube. On YouTube, they first make you sit out, right out two months where you can only upload 15 videos a day following which only then, only then, you can be free like a bird. Or you can do some funny little video face edit, uh, like identifying thing. Then they will open your account for you to do what you want to do. But if you have used, like in my case, your cell phone number multiple times to um, confirm or validate multiple Facebook accounts they refuse for you to use their cell phone number and if you don't have a second cell phone number you're going to have to wait two months that's what's happening in my fitness channel there are so many arrogant rules that YouTube has that just don't exist on other shows, social media platforms plus on top of that their decisions are harsher than other social media platforms and they are thwarting indeed mostly the most imperative place to be scared upon thwarting the church and so when then the church leaves you because you're, un you're just just contenting the living daylights out of them everywhere where they're at on your platform god is going to bless where it is that his church is blessed and so god is going to overwhelm youtube with facebook and god is also going to overwhelm youtube with independent websites and ministries that are getting all the viewers that they refused to feed on their platform because they were busy following a woke american agenda that is judged currently including the whole country in and of itself so god is just going to be like i'm sorry no just no you were cool you were cool at first but now you're wreaking havoc in my body